Hello and welcome to the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 2nd of January 2021. A new year, a rather cold and frosty but sunny, although there is rain forecast, new year. And of course, I've got stuff out on the line. Anyway, I don't want to say nothing much happened because that would be incorrect. A lot happened. But it was a lot of the same of the... Mm, he's babbling on about that again and I don't want to hear it. So, scratch face. Um, this is what happened uh, that ended today, Saturday the 2nd of January. Um, the first thing... Obviously, you can't beat British weather, British winter weather, storm bella, flooding of the back path, blowing a gale, things blowing over, lots of rain. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that noise then. That's a severe weather warning from, um, I think it's dark sky. Um, or oh, it could be weather pro. Who knows? Um, but there's a weather coming today, as I said, frosty, with rain coming, which may even turn into snow. Who knows? Anyway, so um, that was Saturday into Sunday. Sunday, I thought, let's update to Big Sur. Okay, first thing it pumped up was uh, younger enough disk space. So um, I created more disk space. And then I kicked it off, and about 30, 40 minutes into it, it bombed out. There was an error message. So I started again. It bombed out. There was an error message. TLDR flattened the thing, installed the latest version that I could put onto it over the internet, which was Catalina, and then updated to Big Sur. And my backup from Carbon Copy Cloner. And brought all my stuff over. I don't really want to go through that again. It wasn't a very good deal. Given the issues I've had with Windows 20.04 and 20H2, uh, it's been the year of updaters, especially on Intel platforms. Oh, by the way, um, if you're thinking about an M1, uh, that's the processor from Apple. They only support two ports. They are Thunderbolt ports, but only two ports. Get more. There's a bit of advice there. And um, on, also on Sunday, or was it Monday? I, I think it was Sunday. There was a ready reckoner on when are you going to get your vaccine jab offered to you. Late May into halfway through June. That's a while. And of course, us being British, or more correctly around here, Welsh, there will be cock-ups aplenty. So that would probably take it into September. The AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine got approved this week. So that might speed things up slightly. But I don't have, uh, I don't have much confidence in our leaders and reading about all the doctors and nurses who've retired who are trying to help out and can't because of not european bureaucracy british bureaucracy which is just as bad yeah it doesn't fill me with joy either but there you go and um, back into work on tuesday the boiler failed it was freezing. It stayed freezing most of the day. And up until close of play on Thursday, it still wasn't that warm. Yeah, that's one of the things. 2021 came around. Actually, last day of the year, the 31st at 2300 hours. Greenwich Mean Time, um, we left the European Union. And so far, things have been average. I won't come back to that one. And finally, it's the year of the big freeze. They're already talking about, and I think this is next week or the week after, the beast from the east returning. It's frozen at the moment. Oh. 
However, I'm very pleased that the boiler done last year. I need more socks. Anyway, so out with 2020, in with 2021. There is a look ahead. There are some Saints and Sinners videos knocking around on the channel. Uh, I left my mouse in work. <laughs> These things happen. Anyway, um, happy, safe and prosperous. If you can manage any of those, you'll be ahead 2021. Goodbye.